everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XFest, which is an investment specifically formulated for use in lost resin casting. So big shout out to Stefano over at Bluecast who provided us with this container of XFest along with their new formulation of X Filigree to test out. If you haven't already seen that review we did of X Filigree, definitely check that out at the link down below. A while ago we did a video on the things you need to consider when picking out an investment. If you watched it, you know in order to do lost resin casting successfully, you need to have an investment that is hard enough to possibly withstand any expansion that you could see from your resin. So presumably this is one of the things that will be different about XFest than standard investments. However, I think it's important to note that of the four different blue cast resins we've tried to date, we've never actually witnessed any evidence of resin expansion on our castings. For the purpose of this video, we'll be testing the X-Fest with the X-Filigree. However, I'd be interested to see in the future how X-Fest would react with resin that is known to have expansion issues, possibly printing and casting something on a larger scale in Soraya Tech Purple. As we pointed out in that resin review video, uh, although it was good at small scale, the larger the prints were, the more we could see small issues. In preparing to cast with the Bluecast XFest, we took a look at the instructions from the Bluecast support website. They recommended a mix of one kilogram of investment for every 300 cc's of water or 320 cc's of water, depending on how you're mixing your investment. We thought this was rather interesting as the companies that we're currently purchasing from send along mixing ratio instructions with a very different written formula, which initially led to some confusion and is part of the reason why I'm doing this video today instead of Dan, who you normally see. Using Bluecast recommended settings for conventional mixers, which is one kilogram of investment for every 320 cc's of water, we were able to work out a slightly thicker investment mix. When you take into consideration that a cc of water is equivalent to a gram of water and move a few decimal places, uh, one kilogram of investment in 320 cc's of water comes down to approximately one gram of investment for every 0.32 grams of water. Using the flask that came with the Kea cast, which is the 3 and 3 eighths inch by 4 inch flask, our volume total is about 584.7 cubic centimeters. That means that our mix came out to approximately 584.7 grams of investment and about 187.1 grams of water. If we were to use Plastacast at its recommended ratio in the same 3 and 3 eighths inch by 4 inch flask, our total will be around 584.7 grams of investment with 222.18 grams of water, meaning that XVEST has the thicker, more investment heavy recommended ratio with approximately 0.06 grams less water for every gram of the investment. So putting the math aside for a second, it basically means that Plastacast is more of a pancake batter consistency and a little bit runny, whereas something like the XFest is more of a cake batter and you might have to do a little scraping to get the last bit out of your mixing bowl. We believe Bluecast has done it this way because it's meant to be an investment strictly for resins, and Bluecast is a company that is coming from a resin casting background. Whereas a company like R&R that produces Plastacast is coming from a wax casting background. So R&R may have changed their product, but their mixing ratios remain the same throughout each of their product lines. And I say mixing ratios because when you get that instructional document with your investment, there are several on the sheet. So you can easily achieve a ratio that is going to be very similar to XFest, but it's interesting that that is where XFest starts. It is already common knowledge within the casting industry that if you're having problems with flashing or infill due to the expansion of your resins, that you should use something like boric acid to harden your investment up or use a more investment heavy mixing ratio. By building in a more investment heavy mixing ratio, perhaps Bluecast is building in that expansion resistance. But again, that's curious because their resins are some of the few in the industry that actually have melting qualities and then eliminate that expansion factor. So we're left with the only other reason for such a thick standard mixing recommendation, and that would be Bluecast's work with rapid burnout. Regular burnout can take anywhere from 8 to 12 hours, depending on the size of your flask. 
With a rapid burnout process, some studios are attempting to lower their burnout times to six, five, and some even as low as four hours. When it comes to rapid burnout, you need to be careful not to shock your investment and potentially cause that cracking and flashing on your castings. We have yet to attempt a rapid burnout with XFest, but we'd be really interested to see how this investment formulation handles under the rapid temperature increases. Some absolutely amazing members in our Discord group have been experimenting with the rapid burnout process, not with XFest, but with the Bluecast X1 and other resin formulations. It's something that we'll be looking into experimenting with ourselves in the very near future. So if you want to see more on rapid burnout and possibly secondary burnout and other interesting burnout processes, definitely leave a comment down below. Overall, the XFest was easy to use as the mixing process is the same as any other investment. There's nothing really special there. Uh, it's less foamy than some other investments, which leads to less cleanup after vacuuming and means you have a little bit of extra time and you don't have to watch it constantly when under vacuum. However, due to that slightly thicker recommended mix, if you don't have a power washing system like we do, you might be in for a little bit of a workout trying to get that investment off more detailed and complex items. In comparison to when we wash out the Plasticast flasks, the XFES flask took about three times longer. Uh, if you've ever worked with boric acid in your investment, it's a very similar feeling when you get to cleaning your flask. And quenching the hot flask really did nothing. There was very little movement. So all of the divesting has to be done manually. Overall, Bluecast is working its way to becoming an innovative resin casting product line with resins that actually melt and a very solid investment. Make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss the new XFest tests when we look at its rapid burnout capabilities. Until then, thank you for watching if you've gotten this far into the video. Also, a special thank you to Stefano and the Bluecast team for sending over the resin and the investment for us to take a look at. And of course, an extra special thank you to our YouTube channel members in our Discord. If you're looking to get into rapid burnout or need help with your regular burnout, check out the join button below this video to take a look at our YouTube membership options. Maybe we'll see you in the Discord. Maybe we'll see you in the next video.